So what we're gonna do in this upper area is we are going to continue this, it's not blue stone, but it's a natural stone. It looks like a sandstone of some sort. And we're gonna do kind of a quarter circle that takes you all the way back here. It'll go out probably about four and a half feet and we'll build a brick wall inside that pond edge. And that will hold up that patio stone. So you can actually sit on the patio or this little cafe table area sitting here. Drop your feet down in the water. There'll be some koi fish up here. And then the pond will go from about this line back about 18 feet back over there and it'll be about 12 feet from here to there water falls up over there and then it will overflow into that reservoir and you can see up here that funky shape that it has when I say access is tight it is tight my head is only about six inches above the joists on the roof of this garage and I'm sitting in the 303 thank goodness we don't have a cab on here but I have very very minimal clearance in through here in fact this is how we gotta get through <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's Chris at Team Aquascape, and we are back with another installment of an incredible water feature in this beautiful residential suburban backyard. It is a sprawling Glen Ellen, you know, kind of micro estate over here. We've got a beautiful home back behind me. We are going to be turning what was an old concrete, kind of amoebic shaped pond that was non-functioning, just a total eyesore and nightmare for the homeowner to deal with. And we're gonna be transferring into a poundless waterfall. So we're gonna do an aqua block system as our reservoir. We're gonna do a negative edge with a really cool kind of shallow 18 inch upper pond that's going to be dumping into that with a neat waterfall is facing back towards the house. Let me turn the camera on and kind of show you what the canvas for the next couple days is going to be. So this is where that dilapidated, probably 70 year old concrete, you can kind of see the shape. It was this weird amoebic shape. It actually was a, a nice shape. They had a waterfall back up over there, but it was about a 70 year old concrete pond that was completely non-functioning. It leaked, all the plumbing, everything was just bad on it. So what we're gonna do is a really, really, really cool idea and design is we are going to create an upper pond up there with a kind of a quarter circle patio and I'll show you that in a second. Can leave it out over the pond edge to an 18 inch deep pond. Biofalls will sit back up over there. It'll only be about a 12 inch, 14 inch tall waterfall, just kind of a babbly brook. About an 18 foot by 12 foot pond uh, or overflow using a negative edge that will have a waterfall dumping down into the basin here. The basin's going to run eight blocks this way, three blocks this way. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a bib liner over 75 to 80% of those aqua blocks to get that waterfall to drop here, cool up, and then kind of twist and turn to a stream to the infiltration area, which will be right down here where the pump will be located inside the pump vault. Electric's going to be moved from up there down over to here. So it should be a really, really neat project. The homeowner had himself and his sons and maybe his son's friends help demo everything. We still have a little bit of removal in here. We're gonna remove a lot of this ivy, buckthorn, that kind of stuff to kind of get this blank slate. We've got about 12 yards of dirt coming to help us fill and grade everything off and also back fill around the reservoir itself but it's gonna be a really really neat project beautiful kind of wooded setting and I love this kind of pool house that they have over here which they use as kind of a three season building it's not heated or anything like that but it has these beautiful windows so what we're gonna do in this upper area is we are going to continue this it's not blue stone but it's a natural stone it looks like a sandstone of some sort and we're gonna do kind of a quarter circle that takes you all the way back here it'll go out probably about four feet four and a half feet and we'll We'll build a brick wall inside that pond edge and that will hold up that patio stone so you can actually sit on the patio or this little cafe table area sitting here drop your feet down in the water there will be some koi fish up here and then the pond will go from about this line back about 18 feet back over there and it'll be about 12 feet from here to there water falls up over there and then it will overflow into that reservoir and you can see up here that funky shape that it had so we're gonna have to reshape that a little bit not a big deal at all it looks like there's a bottom drain in there that we'll have to tear out but no no big deal at all we've got our 303 excavator our dingo we've got Corey Dan Luis and Jack who you guys all know from our videos we've got four days on this project and I'm really feeling confident about it it looks like the weather's gonna hold out and do give us a golden opportunity to maybe get this thing done early but right now it's unloading all the trucks why don't we see what the guys are up to and then we will get going huh all right so here's our access
access. We're gonna go through the garage. It's a double door, so we got an in and an out. We're gonna try and squeeze our excavator out through that opening right there. This is where all the material is going to be staged. In through here on the driveway, you can see we've got our underlayment, and the guys are bringing these plastic pads out. We've been using these for ground protection, as well as protecting pavement surfaces and stuff like that when the rock and soil is getting delivered. So really, really excited to get this project going. Like I said, it's gonna be a neat one. We've got a little bit of prep work to do to just get the site ready to roll, and then we're good to go. We have two pallets of product, 24 aqua blocks, couple different liners. We'll put a link in the description below with the bid sheet showing the cost of everything as well as everything that was spec'd out for the project. But you can see we've got a solids handling pump and dosing system, pump falls, aqua blocks, all kinds of goodies, and a bio falls for this project. So pretty pumped. This backyard is gonna get an incredible aquascape makeover, and we're gonna take you along on the journey and tell you all about it. Okay, so when I say access is tight, it is tight. My head is only about six inches above the joist on the roof of this garage, and I'm sitting in the 303. Thank goodness we don't have a cab on here, but I have very, very minimal clearance in through here. In fact, this is how we're gonna get through. <laughs> So as you can see right now, we have the basin marked out and we are gonna do a five by five basin layout. So we're gonna have run five aqua blocks going long ways and five aqua blocks going wide. We pulled out a bunch of our, the ground cover and ivy that was sitting up where the excavator is sitting right now. There was a rock actually sitting right there that we took out and then we're pulling out this buckthorn so we could feather out all this dirt that we're gonna use from this excavation. We will be filling in this hole a little bit just to give us our proper depth for our aqua blocks. And then we will lay our aqua blocks in and start rocking it in. So I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but the sky is starting to darken as we speak, and it's only about 1.45 in the afternoon. We have a very thin cell that's about 70 miles long that is, there's a lot of purple, blue, green, red. It's got every color in the rainbow in this little storm cell. So I think it's coming in, it's starting to get really breezy. So anyways, we are rushing to get the reservoir in. We have it dug. We've got our 24 aqua blocks over there. We're gonna get our liner in, then our fabric, then our aqua blocks, get the pump vault in. Go ahead and start backfilling and filling it with water at the same time so that we don't accept any hydrostatic pressure if we get a heavy torrential rain, but we gotta start getting everything kind of covered up as we're working our way through. So stinks, the weather is always somewhat of an outlier. We just do the best that we can. So the guys are doing a fantastic job. We got this hole dug very, very quickly after lunch, just kind of cleaning things up. So now Jack, Corey, Luis, and Dan are gonna work on unfolding this. Then we'll get this underlayment in and then this pile of aqua blocks right here will occupy the void space. Then we'll fold everything back like a burrito and just go ahead and start backfilling while filling it with water at the same time. It is day two. As you can see, we have the liner and fabric all in the pond over here. We got the pond completely excavated earlier this morning, fine-tuned it a little bit to get to the proper depth that we wanted to. We found a bunch of junk and crap underneath there, so we went ahead and over-excavated out a little bit. We're gonna go about two feet of water depth on this one. What helped us establish water level of this project wasn't necessarily the patio, which is where we like to usually bring water level as close as we can to, but this is considerably higher than the foundation line that's back along the house 
over there. So we went about four inches below the foundation line because we're bringing it so close to the house, we don't really have the ability to build up on this side. And what that does is that helps us figure out where our elevation needs to be for our weir over here or where that negative edge is overflowing into the Palmas waterfall. So we got about four tons of boulders already staged back in here. Jack, Dan, myself, Luis, and then a new guy, Seth, are here today. We're gonna go ahead and just rock the entire pond in and kind of work our way out. We've got the machine sitting relatively close so that we can strap up maybe a couple of these big guys if we need to as we're working our way through. Let me show you the excavated depth. Jack's gonna go ahead and start rocking in this bottom. There's gonna be a brick wall back over in this little cove area. We're gonna have circulation jets. We'll bring the pipe in somewhere over here and I think I'm gonna run it back behind this wall over here over to that area. We already have our plumbing hooked up to the biofalls and that's already ran over into here. So I think what we're gonna do is we're either going to upsize the pump and manifold off somewhere back over here or we're gonna come in with two pumps and add a supplemental pump for those circulation jets and these really cool statues back over here that we're gonna incorporate into the feature. So we're gonna go ahead and start rocking. We should have this pond pretty well licked today and chew up a lot of this rock and then tomorrow we can focus on fine-tuning everything and working on this basin area. <laughs> 